All right, everybody, welcome back to episode four of Star Wars Sucks Changed My Mind. Uh, I'm Welcome Matheson. People call him Movie Slob. You guys know that. Uh, my guest today, he's going to be on all these, so I don't know why I keep introducing him. His name is Michael Sugar Plum. How are you doing, Mike? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm doing great because I've won three. What episode is this? I already forgot. Four. Episode four. You've lost the last three, my friend. I don't know how many of these we're going to do, but hopefully you get one good one under your belt because you're not convincing anyone to go see this piece of shit Rise of Star Wars thing. I don't care what you say. But I kind of do care because you're a nice guy and you're a fucking loser Star Wars nerd. This guy is the biggest nerd I could find, and he's here to defend Star Wars and try to make me want to go see that new one. So I think with this episode, we're going to be talking about George Lucas. Yes. It's rumored that Papa Lucas has come back. Disney begged him on hands and knees to come back to Star Wars and fix the ending of this movie. And that's to you, that's a positive. Yeah. Why is that a positive? Because it shows that there's a synergy between Lucas and Disney, that they're getting the story beats together and they are understanding one another and they're connecting the old and the new. So they're making, as you talked about in the first episode, they're making a better pizza pie together this time. They're taking Papa Lucas's ingredients and they're taking Disney's money to get all the finest cheese, all the finest sauce and throw it all together at this last ditch attempt to make a pizza that you're going to actually want to eat on December the 14th. Yeah, but we already ate two horrible piece of shit pizzas. So if yeah, you but eat, this one's. Let's say hypothetically you're right, and they make a good pizza here. Yeah. Which is not possible because Domino's can't make good pizzas. That'd be one good pizza and two shitty pizzas. So yes. if you what's 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 the average there? You do math stuff. How many good pizzas is averaged? I'm. It beats me. To me, it's just it's all good pizza. No, what's what's the average good to bad? Average good to bad, it's too bad to one good. In no, your but opinion. what's the percentage? If percentage. two or I... if you have, if you have three pizzas and two of them suck, percentage wise, do you know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying, but I disagree with that analogy because I really do think that this time they've got everything together. The cosmos are aligned. They're gonna make something magnificent for December. They're bringing everything back that you love. The old characters, they're bringing uh, CGI Leia. It, it's going to be fantastic. And they, they consulted with George for this. They know what George wants. They know what you want subliminally. Let me, just, let me just stop you there for a second. Let me just, I got some points to make to you and this might hurt your feelings or something. First of all, no one likes Princess Leia. No one ever liked her. Especially General Leia in these new Star Wars movies. Fat, old, retarded, drunk, slurred lines, fat, ugly, old, fat Leia. No one likes her. No one. If they do or they say that, they're lying. Because we live in a super PC culture now where you're not allowed to say the truth. But people come, they watch these videos. They're not here to listen to you, your bullshit. They're here to get the truth because that's what I tell them. Right. No one likes Princess Leia. Okay, I don't care if you CGI her or you go back to old movies that Carrie Fisher was in and you make her a hologram, no one likes her. So that point, out the window. And now about George Lucas coming back to, to Disney and creating something great. I mean, George Lucas is the one that started this whole shit show to begin with. Not just with the horrible prequels that no one likes, but he literally sold Star Wars to Disney. And this is a guy who's supposed to be all about art and creating stuff that's stuff that's not Disney, and he sold to Disney. Now, all I've been listening to the last years is this fat bridge troll going around moping on camera about how Disney's bad and he, he made this huge mistake. Yeah, you did. You know why? Here's a better solution, okay? I don't got any money. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I, I know more than George Lucas does. Here's what, he sold Star Wars to Disney to give away the money for charity, right? Yes. $4 billion, right? $4 billion, yeah. He's worth $8 billion. I looked it up. He was worth $8 billion. How about this, George? You give $4 billion of your money to uh, a charity, and you keep Star Wars. Then you still have $4 billion. That's more billions than anyone's ever could ever spend in a lifetime anyway. So you're fucking stupid. You gave away your baby for some for some bullshit. You could have just gave away $4 billion and kept Star Wars. Now you really regret it because they are fucking like running this shit into the ground. Where people like me, who my favorite thing is Star Wars, don't even want to go, but they have to. See, there is 
so many things that disagree with that with because I think that George Lucas sees this as a way to mend the rift between the fans and himself. Think of it as an apology letter to everything you hated about the prequels. George Lucas doesn't care about the fans. He's never cared about the fans. Well, he cares about the fans. He gave you the Phantom Menace in 3D. That's true. I give you that. You Which we really, everyone really, really wanted that. But they did. What's he bring into this to make me care to go see Rise of Star Wars? I, 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 at this point, you haven't convinced me. He's putting a period at the end of the sentence that is the Star Wars series. He's finishing it. This is the last of the Skywalker movies. We don't want this to be no real Star Wars fan wants this to be the last Star Wars Skywalker thing so I don't want a period I want a comma or a thing that says more stuff's coming why does it have to I mean so you're just saying he's coming to end it that doesn't even make any sense to me well he started we, it so he's ending we it. want good Star Wars movies a lot of them so he's come he, they're just he's coming Disney's bringing him back to put his name on the credits so that nerds trust him to end this I don't understand we don't want the only reason people want these movies to end is because they're bad but what you're not thinking about is the possibility here that George Lucas is bringing his very particular storytelling style to this and he's working with J.J. Abrams to create something that is going to leave you flabbergasted and amazed you are, I have to give you one thing you are full of shit in a way that I'm not comfortable. I'm almost not comfortable talking with you. I don't understand how people like you exist. What your motivation is to talk like a robot and to say these things that you know are not true. You know these are not true. And I got a point here. I was just thinking about, I was trying to think about something or, or more interesting when you were talking, but I'm also hungry. So sorry if I'm eating because I'm starving. But bringing George Lucas back to me is kind of like, Popeye's chicken. Do you have Popeye's chicken where you're? Yeah. Where, we, where do you? Are you comfortable with saying uh, what Muslim country you live in on yeah, the Kenya. camera? Yeah, Kenya. Well, do you have Popeye's chicken over there? Yeah. Okay. Well, are you familiar with the Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich? Yes. Very familiar. What they did. I mean, look at me. Oh, hey. Yeah, we're incels. That's true. Popeye's chicken sandwich the first time, the first release of Popeye's chicken sandwich. So the OG sandwich. Yeah. Oh. It was amazing. I mean, I, I'm not bullshitting you. I stopped making videos for a long time because that's what was I your switched. It was your full-time you know, job. Yeah. Full-time job. I lost a couple friends over it. Okay. Oh. I don't even have I don't even have that many. I mean, that's a different story. That's brutal. But yeah. Popeye's chicken sandwich first release is the original trilogy. Yeah. Of Star Wars. Okay. Then now they're bringing it back after all this long hiatus yeah okay that's what the prequel trilogy is this shitty like have you had my whole point is have you tried the new the same popeye's chicken sandwich but now that it's uh the second release have you had it yet i have not had the second release no it's not the same thing they're lying to everyone it's horrible the chicken is the patty's half the size uh they're using the gimmick of the of of it being popular to to mask the fact that they don't have to uh, put as many pickles on there because they were getting half the fucking pickles on the sandwich now. Even if you tell them, you have to go in there fucking thirty minutes to an hour bef early. That's how long it is to get a sandwich, and they won't even let you like they cap the limit, so you can only get three at a time. So I gotta fucking bring people with me that I don't even like or family members and stuff to go wait in line for an hour because I need more than three sandwiches. Who the fuck eats less than three sandwiches, okay? And you don't know this because you haven't had the new ones yet, but the originals ones were the best. They were amazing. These new ones, half the pickles, they barely put any fucking spicy mayonnaise sauce on it. Everything's wrong. They don't care because they're so busy. They use that as an excuse to sell these shitty, half-retarded, half-quality sandwiches, which is exactly what the prequels were the prequels is the re-release of these chicken sandwiches or whatever that's all my point is was that um oh so yeah so now this is imagine this hasn't happened yet because it doesn't come out till christmas but this christmas rise of star wars with george lucas bringing it back is going to be like the third wave and if you know anything about patterns yeah. The first Popeyes is the good. 
The second one's a ripoff. The third one's going to be horrible. Like, I mean, it's going to get bad. It's going to get real bad. And that's what my prediction for uh, this new Star Wars movie is. And I think George Lucas sucks. And he made a huge mistake giving away his baby and all that stuff. And he sucks. And I don't care what he what he added to this movie. Too little, too late. You lost this one, Mike Sugarplum. Uh, I win again. That's four in a row. Star Wars still sucks. You didn't change my mind. Sorry. But hopefully we'll have you back soon to try again. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Thank you.